Ladies and gentlemen, the map is Cash. It is Team Solo Mid up against Dignitas. Let's see who will come out on top. Will Team Solo Mid continue the historical dominance over Dignitas in 2015? Or will Dignitas well, finally, finally get themselves up? Because Dig have been playing well in the Pro League. And funny enough, I did actually mention the last time I cast a TSM. It was versus Fnatic, saying TSM are the kryptonite of Fnatic. And they played an overpass. That was a stomp as well. It was an absolute stomp. Fnatic just uh, completely 16, wrecked six, them. 16 I think, if I recall just that completely yeah. wrecked them. And they were supposed to be the team, one of the few teams that could consistently beat Fnatic. I mean, they played each other uh, the other day on Mirage, when me and Lauren were casting it. That went to overtime, and that was with Devil Walk as well. Of course, for Fnatic themselves, Olaf is now out for two weeks, if you've missed that news. Just going to do a little news roundup while we're here. Get right, yeah, also so get right in game get right, leading. Get right in game yeah. leading. That's something we didn't know about earlier on. They played uh, against Penta early on and came out on top. That's that's an interesting role, especially seeing how he plays because obviously he's always the man that lurks. So it's mm -hmm. definitely uh, putting a change of roles for him. But anyway, let's get into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Team Dignitas versus Team Solo Mid. Dignitas playing as the CT side. Let's see what TSM can bring to the table. Okay, so they do have, let's see, what? One Tech Nine, they do have a Molotov, two smokes. So to me, it kind of says they want to hit the B site. Smoke off lower, smoke off upper, and burn the man in sight, which would be a pimp. Nice little smoke from Zipnix there. Didn't quite work out, though. Mm. Asian B, or Kebu, I should say. Managed to find him. Kebu. Kebu. It's one of those Danish names that we can never get a mouth round. Nonetheless, MSL will find one. Will not get the second. He's going to run out of bullets. He's going to get the reload quicker and will get the kill. Won't get the third, though. Now Pimp manages to find one in checkers. Second time of asking. They're both incredibly low. Eight hit points or five hit points. There's going to be the last man standing. Pimp will find them both. And it was really, in the end, very easy for Dignitas to get the cleanup. So Pimp with a triple, starting things off, gets himself 4.3k, what's he going to go with? He's going to go for an SMG. You know what? I just noticed Pimp didn't use jewelies in that first round. That's not normal. He normally, he's normally always on the jewelies. Yeah, I, I, I really don't understand why. Like him, Get Right, and MBK, and like the three men I think of that actually use jewelies, and mm. I still don't understand why. They're like, they, they feel so ina inaccurate, but either way, 1-0 to zero lead, didn't toss, pick the pistol like you said. Pimp does have the M4, and Nico will get dinked up in middle already off the bat. TSM trying to work through main as well, but Caribou pushed up two rounds running. Ooh. Won't be able to escape with his life for now, but unfortunately, AZ won't be as lucky. Uh, TSM off to a strong start. They've gotten a gun out of the hands of AZ. They could potentially pick it up. I think it was an MP9, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I don't think he's looking. Don't think he's expecting the mid. Don't think he's expecting three of them to be pushing up the mid there. Now he turns. Now he adjusts. Is he going to find one? Yes, he does. It was actually Nico's grenade. And now he's getting pushed from behind as well. He's going to get surrounded. Look at the spin on him, though. Manages to get one headshot. Not the second. Nico comes in. Support with the Tech 9. And they are getting the re... Rotate back on towards him. Carrigan not able to find a gun, not able to recover anything there. Nico will get himself a third and a simple defuse. Yeah, they got the bomb down. That's the most important part of that. So they can buy up in this next round if they really do want to. You see their money when it ticks up as they do hit over. So they could buy up if they wanted to. Um, they'll still be a little bit light on smokes and flashes. Mm, um, but it's still very possible when they know the other team you know, is sitting on uh, not a perfect set of guns either. But... As you can see, three M4s, a Famous, and an AWP out of Nico. It's going to be very, it's very pretty, dangerous for TSM. Pretty early AWP from Nico, this one. Yeah, very. Third round. Of course, did just get the triple in that last round. The smoke going to get smoked off, so not going to be able to find too much. Goes for the counter smoke of his own, followed by a nade, which actually didn't quite catch on towards him. It's just a four health shredded off. Cajun B, not a great deal. AZ expecting someone to boost in towards Vents. Oh, he looks away just the wrong timing. Trying to flash out his teammate. Trying to push him in there. It's MSL actually over on the other side. And he's actually going really aggressive here. He's pushing out, looking. Not going to find device, though. It's a device that was lurking. And now mid control in the hands of TSM. Yeah, just a very slow round for TSM. Not really wanting to lose too much in their Ooh, first gun round. Kiebi, look at this position. They're not expecting him here. And he's going to wait. He's going to wait for Zipnix. Is anyone else coming? Yes, he's going to get them two lined up. Beautifully done. That was the bomb also dropped there. But they are pushing through mid. Oh, and that's been cleaned up. Pimp has got himself that. Kebi will get a third of the round. And, well, that smoke worked out well. That's why, actually, we saw, I think it was um, 
was it Pimp in the mid? Or I didn't say it was maybe Nico. I didn't see who it was. AZ, sorry. It was AZ in mid that looked away. He was just there and there. Flashed in. It was Kierby that was flashing in there to get into that position. So mm. stepped away. Could have found the mid control, but they gave it up. And it worked out well for them. And as we've mentioned at the start, heavily invested. So you're the NIP, like... What, what, I can't even think of the word I was trying to say. Coach? No, to hell no. Um, <laughs> you're the bad omen for them, and I'm a bad omen oh, for TSM, yes. apparently, yeah. when we cast. Because TSM... It's not really having much luck. I mean, we're three rounds in, so it's not too much of a stomp just yet, but we will see round number four quickly go over to TSM. But sorry, sorry, did a toss as they do wipe out TSM left and right. I have a single kill coming in, barely any damage. And Denatos off to a strong, confident start. Nico sitting pretty uh pretty nice here at five and one. Caribou at seven and one himself and six and oh for Pimp. Yeah, I really like the way Dignitas has played that one. They Realized there was only going to be possibly one man defending over an A site, so KB, instead of sticking up close and personal, did decide to go all the way back to truck, whereas he's actually been in their faces for the last two rounds. So nice little adjustment from KB. Four to zero. TSM are able to buy themselves up. Device this time on the AWP. Gone complete glass cannon. Not going to get boosted. We'll see where he goes with this one. TSM have wrestled control of mid. I think he's asking for A couple for a of boost. rounds, yeah, I think he's asking for it. Oh, and Kirby actually, he's been adjusting his position every single round. This time, he's got himself boosted. Let's see how this actually works out from Tim. Nick already down to three health in middle. Found um, as he did get the kill onto device, yeah. so the boost, unfortunately, not working out too well for him. And TSM now forced to back away to maybe rotate in a little bit later on. They do have quite a few Molotovs, like three of them. And they have four smokes too. I think they're trying to do some fake smokes over towards A, and then rotate back in towards this B site. Uh, or over in towards middle as well to help out for this. But they do want to gain some middle control. They need to get control of Vent, most importantly. Yeah, Pimp is actually in Vent as well. Pimp's holding the position. That Molly's going to force him out. He's going to have to back away. Uh, you're going to have to move, buddy. Oh, he's going to push through the Vent! Well, I mean, he got the kill, I guess. That was a little ballsy. Could have just dropped down because that's actually left them short on B-site now. We see AZ trying to get the shots through the smoke, but now they have control. Bomb plan going to come in from Carrigan. While the rest of the team slowly rotate out. Kierby's making a long jaunt all the way around the back. Dupree has found AZ already. And now it's down to a two on three. Dupree double flash and CT spot where Nico is kind of uh, over in that direction waiting. He's going to be saving the AWP it looks like. Kierby going to be looking for some exit frags. So TSM will pick up this round. It was a little bit scary, especially with the Vice going down in a 1v1 up against Nico in middle. But they will secure this. The question is, though, how many guns will they maintain? They're, they're completely cut off. Caribou's right behind them. So when they rotate in, so they get one, maybe two kills. They can't go towards CT spawn because that's exactly where Nico's waiting. Uh, Caribou can't get more than just that. But to maintain the up, they do take a lot of guns out of the hands of TSM. That will be finally the first round on the board for them. Yeah, big round there. TSM getting themselves in. Not sure about Pimp pushing through the flames there. Maybe expected to get through the spread of the flames was... Uh, Certainly burning him down. If it had backed up, it had gone straight into three members. Maybe he was just expecting. They had taken mid control a number of times. They're so probably expecting to come around and find a number of people there, get a lot of information. But I think he was hoping for a 1v1, which he did win out, mm. win out on in middle, because we knew if he dropped out of vet, there'd be two people waiting since they mollied that out yeah, to force yeah. him out of that position. Uh, so it's kind of like, well, that's the best out of a worse situation, or the best out of a bad situation. But Sometimes unfortunately, the works, fire was yeah. a little bit too much for him. But still, he got one with them. Uh, just unfortunately, mm. wasn't enough. But we still have TSM on the... Or Dinitas still on the buy. AWP still for Nico, saving it from that last round. And Device not able to pick one up for himself in round number six. But again, back to slow, methodical play out of TSM. Looks like they want to boost up yet again. Device. some sort of mid control. Yeah, Nico's probably not going to expect it because he just threw a molly there. Oh, he's actually in... Is, is he in sight? Or in middle now? No, he hasn't pushed mm. out no, just no, yet. No, no, no. He's just... Uh, he's on the boost, so... Nico now looking. Now, no, this, the, the molly has... Worn off that smoke, gonna run down. MSL's about to get busy over on B site as well. Dupree nice and KGB pushing in. So, Device about to hop on over. Oh, MSL has been taken down. That was over on B site. Pimp alone at the moment. Now, Nico's gonna rotate. Pimp gonna get flashed out. Didn't quite catch on him. But is he expecting someone to be in checkers? I think he'd heard Dupree's footsteps, but now he's completely cornered. And that smoke on CT will keep Nico out of the picture. And this is another great B take from TSM. And Device, he's still just sitting in the middle. AZ's rotating behind him for Mame. He's trying to cause a little bit of distraction as the bomb will be going down here in just a few seconds out of Kerrigan. And Device will get dropped by Kierbu. So now it's going to be a three on four retake. And AZ's going to get right behind Zipnix. Again, they're going to be saving their guns this time, it seems. But they could still pick up quite a few kills, make this a little bit expensive. And there you go, AZ. Straight down Zipnix. Looking for oh. the second he gets to Pre. 
And now Cajun B and Kerrigan, the last two alive. Actually, they could have maybe gone for the retake, not expecting two people to be out towards middle. And Cajun B might find himself in the same fate that Easy was able to deliver to his teammates. Yeah, they know that they are cornered as well a little bit. So TSM going to hold on to those rifles. Cajun B not going to be chased down. Easy did enough damage, got himself two. No Arrogan. tears, only dreams out of Kerrigan's AK. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nico's is beautifully named. So elegant. Can't, can't actually read it. Can you tell me what it said? Uh, couldn't quite mm. catch the... Uh, the it was the red text. The you know how bad my eyes are. And yeah, the phrasing of it was a little uh, <laughs> a little off, I felt. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, 4-2 Dignitas was a good start, but TSM have pulled themselves two rounds back into this one. This time it's going to be a mid-push. MSL's gone mid to Vents by looks of it. Yeah, he's going to hop into Vents. Pimp. Covering him off sandbags, expecting something to come here. TSM have had a successful B push the last two rounds. Carrigan traded on the bomb. Device is going to be the one that peeks over at Squeaky. Just trying to create some distractions. TSM still looking to find a weakness in Dignitas' line of defense. I think they found it. It's the B site. Because Caribou has been able to play so many different positions, like you pointed out before. It's kind of like, let's go B, where they don't really have the, uh, the ability to do that, the luxury to hide in so many different places. Mm. The bomb, though, it slowly makes its way towards A with Kerrigan. Zitmix and Device still there. And Nico, I think he just barely caught off uh, Dupree as he was jumping back to retreat. Look we'll at the leg shot off onto him, 15 HP now. And Caribou and Aesir are the only two men to defend on this A site push. This is going to be a difficult hold, and TSM already have full control of the site. Oh, Kerby down. Cajun B manages to catch him. AZ pushes on through the smoke, does catch Zipnix round the side. Pimp comes up short as well, so he gets himself in a good position. He's gone down, though. Cajun B dropped. AZ gets just a little tag from that grenade. I think he's still unseen in this corner. Has managed to get himself in full good position. AZ, though, not going to land the shots. Nico does with the AWP. AZ still in the corner. Gonna hop on over. Knows he's got free reign. The man from Quad not covering the off his position. That bomb's still ticking. He has to make the kill and he won't get it. That's gonna not give Nico time. I think he's out of time here. He he's is, gonna he's try and get around the side. He's just trying to get the kill. He can't even get that. He's gonna chase him down. The bomb is gonna catch him. He's gonna go down with it. And TSM get themselves their third round on the board here. And things are starting to get evened up. So TSM, three rounds running, successfully getting the plant in. That was not as clean as they've wanted to, and you can see, you know, Kerrigan at one kill for his team, as well as Dupree, 7 though for Cajun B to really step up, and that's one thing I always love about TSN, they have so many strong individual players, Kerrigan on Mirage, I can think back to the Pro League Finals that we had, he had like 30-something kills, um, had so many 4Ks, you can look at Device with his AWP, he has phenomenal plays out of that, and Zedmus, Cajun B, Dupree can all do the same too, so definitely a team of, uh, of superstars, and they forced Dinantos onto the save, this is going to be a... Yeah, yeah, faster play from TSM as well. They're pushing straight through. They're almost into a site. Coming through main, Kirby wow. is going to find one at Squeaky. Going to get himself an AK. This could be disastrous for TSM. If they get pulled their attention towards AZ here, who's got himself another. So now, in a five-on-three position from the Eco. I don't think AZ's going to be able to get and rescue that AK, though. We can see it there. Whoo, that was close to being a headshot from AZ. The one dig almost landing. Are they going to push up the position? Are they going to try and get cocky on this one? Kiebi gets Cajun B down. Now it's just Zipnix and Device. They should start with pistols more often. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all on a Kiebi because he shut the door right behind him when he went in and then looked straight in the corner so he wouldn't be seen and was able to catch him off, get the first gun. And now it's AZ trying to defend inside of sight with Kiebi there too. The bomb is down. Nico has spotted it out. So they know exactly where the bomb is, but can they do much with it? Kirby holds squeaky. Nico in a perfect position with a 5 7 to catch around the back of Zimnix. Oh, is he going to cut it? No! Zimnix managed to come out and suddenly it's down to a 2 on 2. Pimp and Kirby, though. Oh my god! Kirby goes down as well. Remember, there's no armor on Dignitas here. So these obviously are brutal shots. Pimp finds one. He's going for the plant. Gets a second. Pimp comes out big. And that is Team Dignitas picking up an eco round against TSM. And it all came down to TSM, switching up so quickly to go so fast to door. You get caught up by AZ with the Deeg. And they just got completely, well, the name of device is off. Let's just say that. But right now, they do have a two-round lead. They need to get this momentum going. Pimp, again, just, I mean, he knew he didn't have time. He knew he was going to catch him off guard, went straight for it. But what can they do now? TSM, they're on the eco. Full Glocks, full 100% save. I'm not going to go into the next round to be a little bit stronger. But Dintas, like you said, they've been on 
steadily on the rise. They've been performing pretty well these last few weeks. It worked out for Dignitas with the pistols, although it's a little bit different when you're on the attack. Although some would argue it's different when you're on the defense as well. Look how deep Dignitas are defending and holding this one. They don't want to get rushed out by anything. Now Aze and Kierby are going to close the net. Kierby's picked himself two they up got on the, the bomb push They down with no utility, that, with no guns? Well, it's because they just sat so deep back. I mean, I guess they didn't want to get caught out expecting maybe a Tech-9 rush. I don't know. Kierby's got himself four in the round, though, and the defuse. But as you said, you know... Plant's a plant. You should almost never get the bomb planted like that when you're full save with just Glocks and I think it's a P250 for a device. Like, that should not happen. Caribou picks up four kills. They do get a clean round. They don't lose a single man, so they keep their economy high, but they're also letting TSM, um, you know, bolster their economy by letting them get the bomb down. They have the AKs, they have the nades behind it to support it, and if TSM can, or if Dinitas, sorry, can win this round, it'd be very, uh, very nice for them, very detrimental for the side of TSM to potentially get into a fourth. So TSM with the rifles. Let's see where they go with this one. Nico with the AWP once again, yet to be challenged. MSL has managed to find Cajun B. They pushed out aggressively on B. That gave them a lot of information, so they know that it's a potential A push here because they managed to get themselves a good peek towards T spawn. They haven't rotated yet, though. Despite the fact kirby has gone down, Nico's come around. Nico's now covering this one off, but he's been completely flashed up. Manages to land one shot, though. But now they know they're going to focus his attention. AZ covers off. That's Carrigan going down, but he's all alone on site. Pimp and MSL making the rotate. MSL could catch on Dupree. Dupree gets a peek towards him, expects it, and lands the shot as well. Dupree with two big kills there. And now Pimp, the man to try and get revenge. He will get Dupree down. Zipnix yet to get the plant in. Now the plant's coming in. And he's going to plant it off. So he can cover. Possibly from doors. Pimp on the long rotate here. I don't think Zipnix is going to expect this. Is he going to make noise? No. He's going to come in quiet. Zipnix expecting him to come from short or truck. And it's been a pretty quick rotate as well from Pimp. So he's got it in this position. In good time. And he should catch an easy kill. And it will be. Pimp once again rescues the round for Dignitas. Well done. Very smart play by him, too, to rotate. Instead of going towards truck, try to go for the challenge there. He rotates back towards middle, catches off uh, Device, and then rotates the long way to catch the final kill to get the victory for themselves. So now 7-3. They've built up some momentum again. The bomb was planted. They've let the bomb get planted actually quite a few of these rounds now. Um, or six of the rounds out of 11. That's or Sorry, out of 10. So that's actually quite good. At it. Just, uh, gotta give him credit for that one. The tech armor. I can't even speak anymore. You know what? I'm t I just can't. <laughs> a little octave, Jason. <laughs> the tech armor, the tech nine armor, and they will be going for oh. a. Uh, well, looks like a push towards B. Tech nine armor, tech armor. in. Tech armor, tech armor. Maybe you've just made a new name up for it. Oh, and it's working out. They managed to pile in. They found B was the weak point. That's where they got the few rounds before. This time, Nico not being smoked off. They didn't really have anything to keep him away from this one. Will not find the shot though. He needed to land that leg. He's got AZ pushing through. AZ can try and cover off. He knows he's got one just beneath him. His device device comes around. Carrigan is there to help out. And they have, with a Tech 9 piled through, managed to get themselves in on site with yet another plan. And Dignitas are simply viewers on this one. Nico lands one shot, doesn't land a second. He's getting attacked by flies still in the studio. Where'd they all come from? God damn it. Nico with the 5 7. Beautiful as they backtrack. Got themselves a double. Are they expecting Carrigan to push around? They're looking his direction. He's going to come. He's going to show, but he gets the kill on Kirby. Nico gets himself another. So three for Nico in the end. He will get chased down by Dupree in the last. And TSM pull themselves a Tech 9 round. 7 4. Dignitas still with the lead. So Dignitas pull off and Nico around with pistols. TSM did the same with the Tech 9, but they bought armor that time. So it's a little bit different, but. Still, pistols proving to be pretty damn strong for both teams. I know it's looking a weird look like we can't really count that. It's not, I, I don't count Tech 9 armor these days. It's That's like quite an invested round, really. But it's, I mean, it's what, 1500? You're not going crazy, but you start throwing the smokes and everything in there. You're looking at 2000. So. It's like you're trying to buy a car. You're just yeah, but it's a, bit, amenities, it's a bit you know, more than just and... buying a 5.7 for 500 when you yeah, spend yeah. 2000. So it's, uh, it's definitely a, hell of, a lot more heavily invested. But nonetheless, it worked for TSM, so why not? Cajun B opening things up. Nico going down. Of course, this is just pistols. Just a simple FAMAS picked up by Pimp trying to equalize some of that cash. 
And actually, TSM are taken pretty low by this one. Dupree on next to nothing. He needs to keep away his position. Pim's the man that, that could make a big They've difference gone through events, though. Three of them have gone through events. MSL, it's going to come out to him from Toxic to try to hold on to this. It's going to be so difficult. The nade comes in 15 HP. Who did he steal that from? Is it Device's orb? I think uh, it's Device. Uh, I think it might oh, be, Oh, it's yeah. Nico. It's Nico. Yeah, it's Nico's, but it's Device that picked it up in the last round. Yeah. Well, so Bomb has gotten in. Cajun B, though. Is waiting by box. They very well could pull us off. M MSL Pimp. could see Cajun B here. No, 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 he can't. Pimp's going to be coming in from vent, though. MSL, I'm not sure if he knows Cajun B is here behind this box, but MSL's going to come in from maybe it's the going top above side. Him. It's going above him. He's hopping up over the box. <gasps> oh, he didn't look. He went, oh, he, went, he went onto the box and didn't look down. Oh, my God. That was tragic. That was tragic. Either way, Carrigan versus KB. KB, the young starlet. Time is ticking against him. He's going to try and rescue the AK, uh, the AWP, and get the hell out of there. That smoke should cover his tracks. Carrigan going to keep on pushing through nonetheless. And it will be TSM that click the round. 7-5. Man. That was... Oh, it was painful. He jumped on the box. And he was looking straight down. He didn't, just didn't look. Just didn't look because he was looking. He was expecting someone at CT. Well, it's unfortunate. The spots you don't check catch you out. And that's going to be another round for TSM. I mean, that was a three on two. That sh they should have had the retake. Uh, but it's unfortunate. Again... Hindsight, always 2020. I mean, it's, it, uh, it's the speed, it's the speed of the retakes. When you've got to go for that sort of play, you know, you've got to go Sonic. You've got to go, Sonic. Gotta go Sonic. fast. Got to try and get in there. Sometimes you can't afford to check every single angle. And this time it costs them. Smoke from Nico. Well, force him getting tagged up there with his AWP. Oh, and Device finds him this time around. Finally goes for that boost and catches him on point. AZ gets a. Uh, Reply on Zipnix. That was over on B site, I think. I tell a lie. It was. It must have been A main. So, Easy went aggressive. Dupree holding mid. I think we're going to see another mid push from TSM here. It's going to be a mid to B through the vents. I'm pretty certain. Get out. You're going to swat it on my head. <laughs> I'm going to do. I'm going to do it once and say that it was a fly there. Cajun B, though, trying to push up in towards checkers. He does actually get there. He has made his way completely through. Let's see if he can pick up any kills. <laughs> so, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We're being attacked by flies. <laughs> that's, that's the attack of the flies in the studio. They are just really annoying the crap out of me right now. Carrigan going to push on, but he gets dropped by AZ. Good defensive setup from Dignitas. They were expecting this one. Pimp should land the shot, but doesn't manage to get it. Finds one in checkers, though. And now he knows there's one push on site. Caught a glimpse of him pushing into box there. Time He's got seven Kirby seconds. pushing. Kirby will find him. And Dignitas get the eighth round. Eight five. Now, T side signs look good. If they can close out the second two, they're looking in a good stead to maybe, just maybe, challenge the dominance that TSM have been showing over them throughout 2015. Well, as I said, they almost have a guaranteed 9-6 nine, nine, score line um, because TSM wasn't able to buy, but they're actually buying now. They're not buying for the last round. They won with the Tech Nines last time around. They might happen yeah. again. Galil's as well. It's going to be a fast push so far. Looks like they're going to make way. Two of them heading towards uh, Squeaky, so they're going to smoke out. It's going to be a set A play. Cajun B is going to work that smoke to try and make it to his advantage and get around Pimp's the side. Pimp's though. Pimp's pushed out B. He knows they're not here. He knows it's going to be A oh hit. God, yeah, MSL quickly him. rotating over to help out for this. Nico's still watching middle. They could completely shut this down, but can Dinatas land their shots? There we go. KGB falling. Pimp's coming up behind them in A main as well. Kirby's just landing everything. Doesn't matter. He's managed to just cut down four already on the way into sight. And that was just simply lining up the shots, knowing that they're coming. Brilliant information gathering from Pimp. 9-5. Uh, for Dignitas. This is a very good CT side on Cash. Fantastic CT side. And let's see if they can pull it to a 10-5 uh, a actually off of this. But look at that. Kiribu again just hitting the, everything. It was the duck on the second flash that really was beautiful. Did get caught in the third. I think he actually caught one while flashed up. So very well played. Pimp and Nico now with a double up setup. Why not? It's last round. Try and cover it off. Mid control, trying to be wrestled by Cajun B and Zipnix. Are they going to expect MSL up so close and personal? Oh, it doesn't matter because Zipnix came out on top. I've no idea how. Pimp with the orb, though, misses the first shot. Now they're going to try and rush him down. It's going to be pistol rush. They're going to try and charge him down, try and create pressure for him. And that is exactly what he's oh. going to have. Oh, the beautiful B 
pistol. One more on Pim. He's getting oh, tagged up. Oh, he gets it. Tries to spin around. And next to nothing left. And Cajun B, the only man standing, pushes through to checkers. But Pimp is ready and waiting with the orb. Lined up. Waiting for him to take that steps back. I think he's going to go for the checkers push into sight rather than around that side. Kier B's covering that off. There he is, that grenade. No, no not going to do a great deal. He had to head armor on. He's managed to find one. He's going to flash himself out. Knows that Cajun B's in the corner. Cajun B comes out on top. Oh, he knew. He knew Nico was there. He heard the steps. Cajun B could be going massive, and he lands the shot onto Nico. And that was a round that Cajun B absolutely should not be picking up for TSM. 9-6 the score, though. Should have been 10-5. I actually wrote down when I saw he was like 1v4. I was like, yeah, that's 10-5. We can move on to the next half. What the hell? How do you clutch that with a Tech-9 to come back? I Should not have happened. Whew. That was just great two, play two by him. Two big rounds. Two big rounds. Kirby on the uh, the last round, the previous round, mm. picking up the four. But, you know, he had all the information he needed. Pimp had pushed all the way around B. Like you said, he was pretty much in T-spawn by the time they actually pushed through. So they they were completely set up perfectly for that one. But Cajun B there. I mean, that was... This is the, this is always the tricky situation. It's like holding double orb. Why why are you holding double orb in that sort of position? Should you maybe go and collect a rifle, knowing that there is only one man coming in? I mean, I mean, you land a shot. You, obviously, you get a hundred percent kill. Well, yeah, unless you go for a weird leg shot. Well, the thing is, they they both knew where he was. So mm. it's like if you watch the right side checkers, yeah, you watch the, the left angles. side, then he can't escape. But if he runs out the tech nine and one pops you in the head, then it's like, well, that that whole went to, uh, <laughs> well, to crap. So yeah. These flies. Nine, I'm six. sorry, these flies are distracting the nine, hell six, out of me though. too. Nine six. Yeah. Nine six is a is a big chance still for Dignitas if they can win the pistol. Pistol's a big round for both teams here. TSM would be looking at at worst a twelve six situation if they lost the pistols. And that's that's tricky to come back from. Because T side mm. and cash is certainly possible. Now Dignitas do yeah. have do have pretty good T sides. TSM themselves have a very good T side. They're still uh, warming up at the moment. They're not. They're not getting the pistol going yet. So uh, we can we can see it in game. They're not getting things going now. They're going for the pistol though. Okay. How do we take this one? I think. I think. If, I think portion, if they get the pistol, I think they're going to win. I think it's very possible. Um, I think it all comes down to can TSM get enough kills in the beginning of this half. <laughs> I got it. Well done. That's like the fifth one. Oh, man. I don't want to touch my mouse now. There's like fly guts all over it. Anyways, back into the game. Second half of our final game of the day to kick off week number four. We have TSM Dinatas. TSM currently down 6-9. And Dinatas fighting to break the streak against them of TSM winning nine matches straight. Being undefeated against Dinatas 2015. Ooh. But that's not a good start. At least for TSM. Aggressive AZ stuff. does come up with the kill. And look at this. Zinnitas trying to spray through the sweat. Just trying to tap them through. But he might get pushed down. He does get headshot. AZ picks up a second. Looking for the third. But Kerrigan the running shot. And this is going to be an A take for the side of Dinitas. Dupree and Kerrigan mm. in a two on four. They do mm. not have a kit. But they have one flashbang to work with. This is going to be difficult. We saw Forrest do it. We can see them. Kerrigan rushing through. He can't cut the shot. Kerrigan gets a better fim. Dupree though. Able to secure a kill. Switching him over the Glock. But... Still on a one on three. He's got one man behind him in main. This is going to be such a tough take. Gets a jump burst. He connects. He almost gets the kill, but he keeps ducking, and they both go for it. Dupree now looking for the man in sight. Doesn't check the corner, and that would be Dentos getting the pistol round. All oh. the back of Easy, and the first two kills into the site. Here we go. Pressure on team solo mid. Can they get themselves back from this one? 10 6. You're going to forget about that and use I'm it. I'm not end. touching that mouse again. <clears throat> Wipe it, wipe there, it. There's the flower. Can I like, oh, this is my trophy. That's my trophy, all right? I'm gonna pin that up on the wall and be proud of it. Small things. To warn the other flies to not mess with us today. I believe is the phrase. Nico, sticking with the uh, PT-50, wants to get that AWP out early again, maybe. Meanwhile, we see MSR with the Galil. No SMGs, by the way, coming out from Dignitas here. So, interesting that they haven't gone for that oh, no. they're, not gonna they're not gonna check that spot. Oh, too, too, too many to choose from, too many to choose from at the moment he showed himself and Pimp. Luckily he was just running in that direction. Device has got himself in a good position. Will not get the frag though. <laughs> oh, the little flick there, tried to go for the knife. Carrigan did though. Carrigan managed to pick himself up some crazy shots. Nico, all alone, and of course he was saving. So he's down to a PT-50, he's basically a pistol duel. And there's an AK-47 now in the hands of Carrigan. Oh, at the back there. He's going to flash himself in. He's got to try and pick up a gun and hope that it's a good one. 
because Carrigan, he's behind the smoke. He's right behind the smoke on the other side of that where the bomb crane is. Actually, now he's back towards. He's got, he's got into CT. Carrigan doesn't it? know. Carrigan didn't know. He didn't see him. He's, he's got an AK now, though. He's collected an AK coming around. And this this has got to be the advantage for Nico when he comes around this corner because he's going to better Carrigan's catch not him looking. out. Carrigan's looking to the right. Carrigan's looking to the right. He's not looking. Oh! oh! But he showed himself and just squatted and let Carrigan take aim. And that is a round that TSM should not have won. But Carrigan drags his team screaming and kicking back into this one. And 10-7. Remember, Dignitas went heavy into that one. It wasn't SMGs. That was AKs and Gileels. The only man that didn't buy was Nico. Well, that's... I think that round actually goes to Zipnix. Even though Kerrigan clutched at the end, Zipnix, he rotated around through Vet to get right behind them and get ridiculous amount of damage in and a kill or two, I believe. It was able to help halt that push from getting the bomb down to toss. They just went too fast. They just went way too quick with that push and got completely caught off guard. Heavily smokes into mid, they're going to pile on through. It's going to be Vents into B. Dupree ready and waiting, gets flashed out and can't do anything about it. But Cajun B holding back. Carrigan's the man actually on top. We all managed to find one. Gets a second, Cajun B through the smoke. Tries to switch to USP, just throws everything he can in there. Carrigan not able to land the second shot. He knows where their position is though. Device on the rotate, comes around, picks himself up two very easy kills. Carrigan makes it the final one. And now it's 8-10. Oh, Dignitas. Dignitas, Dignitas. I think they've blown it. I think they've blown it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in the waters already. 8-10. Two rounds picked up for the CT side in what should not have been their round in the previous one. And now I think we're going to see TSM going solid on defense. Well, we do have to at least point out that Dignitas were able to get the, uh, the bomb down. So that's at least one thing they have for their advantage. But... They're not really going to be investing in too much into this round. They have, what, two flashes, Deagle, P250s, Tech-9, looking for maybe just a cheeky pick somewhere so they can potentially get the bomb down yet again. And actually, they're leaving the ace site completely wide open for TSM. Fast push. Are they going to go through the smoke? Are they going to push it? Device is the only one there. The rotate it. coming. TSM already pushing up there. Zipnix and Cajun B getting in position. Okay, Device called this one perfectly. Heard the footsteps. And this should be... Pretty much a whitewash there. TSM picking themselves up. All the kills, no no sweat there. So, 9-10. TSM one round from drawing it equal. More importantly though, Dignitas are going to get themselves a bye round. Nico with the AWP up against Carrigan. Are we going to see them challenging each other this time? Nico didn't really get much luck of it in mid in the previous uh, side, CT side. Nobody really challenged him. Well, he at least did get a, a kill onto device once, but they still lost the round in the end, which was really uh, kind of odd. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're not really giving the opportunity for him to to really Ooh, work with the op device. too much. And device super pushed up, not looking for the boost out of his teammate just yet, but because he's, of his position, like, gonna, he gets gonna a boost. lot of control. They're going to boost, and he's in a perfect position. Mm, yeah. The three man stacking it. There's two of them up there. They have this perfectly Actually, set up TSM. It's Cage and B that's really going to catch them off guard in this vent because they boosted up from B side. They didn't break the vent. When they come walking out, they're not even going to really check this position. I think Device might fall from this fight, but Cage and B, if he can hit these shots. Didn't see him. Then they, Now they've shot the vent themselves. They're not expecting this one. Ooh, did he back out? Did he back yeah, out? There he did. He yeah, dropped he out of the vents. I think he realized that they were there. Device does get himself the one. That could have... Been a lot worse for Dignitas. They only lost the one man trying to go the up and over. Now they're going to flash themselves out. Nico getting to peek towards quad. Carrigan is holding the angle. I think he's going to use that man with the AK as the peeker. No, he's going for it. Nico. It's all in this man the door. If Pimp opens the door, it caused a distraction for Carrigan. It might have allowed Nico to peek that in. But now he's going to be back aside by himself. It makes over towards short, looking for the hold. But the flashes are being put in very well. AZ still has the bomb in sight. Kerrigan does secure one, but AZ does respawn. But AZ and Caribou, they got to work this very quickly. KGB's back towards truck, but oh, Kerrigan gets the better third. of AZ. That's the bomb down. With 10 seconds to go, Caribou has to come up huge. He gets the kill to KGB, but he's not going to go for the plant because Dupree's back towards main. He's trying to go for the challenge, and he doesn't have the time. That would be uh, TSM securing themselves another round. Yeah, time is out. He's going to get himself the AWP, though. And that got himself a chunk of kills in that one. So Kate Carrigan going huge. Getting himself a triple with the AWP. Taking down Nico to start with. But KB managed to rescue that. That's going to go back over towards Nico. So they're not completely harmless in this one. We'll see what he can do with it. 10 10 all square. Carrigan able to buy straight back. Get that AWP back in his hands. 
Last time around, it used it to great success. A looks like it's going to be mid this time, but we can see on the minimap, everybody's piling around there. Nico's going to be the front man. Didn't get a glimpse into checkers. Didn't get a, any vision on anyone. Let's flash his teammates into Pre though. He's waiting perfectly with a counter flash. Watch how big he's going to go from this round. <laughs> Cajun B stole the last one. Oh, Nico does land one. But that's all. 11-10. Man, that second round on the T side for Dignitas. How hard is that going to kick them in the ass when they come to look at this replay? Pretty hard, I think, is the <laughs> yeah. answer. Pimp, and what are you doing? Are you going to buy? There we are. He's going to go for the AK. Two of the times that these teams have met on cash, the only two times this, this whole year, it's been a 16-8, 16-4 scoreline in favor of TSM, so they've been progressively getting better. And you're seeing that reflected now as it's just 11 10 score, uh, at least in favor of TSM. But Dentas is still a strong team. They just need these picks. I feel like TSM have such a good read on how Dentas are playing this because they're able to rotate three men towards A to stop the push. They're able to get towards B quick enough. Like they're playing very fast and loose. And Dentas aren't really trying to sell any fakes that could net them a couple of rounds. MSL sitting with the bomb over on A side. Dupree got himself up on high. Maybe forced in. Oh okay, God. so they're going to flash straight past him. Oh, they what? did check it this time around. I think that was only only down to the fact that he was backing in, covering off the flash, that he managed to see him there. Like, there were no other reason would he be looking at that direction. AZ flashed out. Oh, Cajun B. He... Well, they know that there's another one well, here. Well, this is the fake. This is the fake I was just ask asking about. Why haven't we seen any fakes of them? AZ's still here. Caribou's going to rotate back towards A. The bomb's over there, and Zipnix is the one man to defend against this with just an M4. And AZ, he's still trying to sell the fake. Kerrigan does pick up the kill onto him, but Device is in middle. Again, Zipnix is the only man to defend. They should they need to pick it up. They need to go now. 25 seconds on the clock. Device now rotated, and Kerrigan, Cage would be hot on their heels to push over to help out. And Zipnix, he hasn't been spotted, but he finally does get taken down by MSL. Well, they managed to charge him down. It's down to a three on three. They've got the sight. Device is going to try and push on through the flames. Does manage to surprise them. Gets one. Can't quite get the second. Switches to tech nine. Now he manages to nail it. Cajun B got himself the other. And the defuse will come. TSM will take it to 12-10. Dignitas struggling now on the T side. Despite the fact Kierby picked up 29 kills for his team. That is huge. They're still losing by two rounds. We have to wonder how many of those were on CT side compared to T side. Quite a few. Quite yeah. a few. I mean, he obviously had that four when they lined up for him in the uh, 14th round. But nonetheless, he has done well. Kirby has been that definitely that, that rising star in the Danish scene. Mm -hmm. 17 years old now. And his birthday last month. So no longer the young 16-year-old starlet. Although you could argue 17 is still pretty damn young. It's definitely a lot younger than I am. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Well, that grenade's going to find its target. Hazy's going to be the man. Oh! Tag through it. Down to nine. Hazy's just like, well, you know, when your looks against you, things aren't going your way. Hello, Nico has managed to find the orb shot onto Carrigan. That was the mid-battle. He got himself boosted on that one. So now TSM may be expecting something to come through vents. They've got AZ and Kierby still probing at them on B site. A device, device though, yeah. They push through main. Device is Pimp be the is one watching. to rotate around. Pimp is waiting for this push out. Oh, he looked! The split second he came around the corner. Did Pimp see him? I don't think he did. They literally crossed each other. So Device would have seen him. Device is going to catch Nico. That's the bomb planter as well. And a double. He got AZ in the background. Didn't even see him lined up for it because AZ had no health. Oh, it's, it's gone wrong for Dignitas again. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, when their luck's against you, it's really against you. And now they're going to rotate back towards B. Dupree's the only man to defend. Zipnix will be rotating as quick as he possibly can. But Dupree, he has flashes. He has a lot of utility to help him stay alive in the uh. site. And there's the first kill. Second, he should go to pick up. Pimp just trying to one tap away. He finally does pick up the kill. But he's got a man rotating right behind him. He's got 10 seconds on the clock. If he's going to get the bomb down, he has to do it now. And he's going to be rushed down at least by one man. Device. Oh, trying to rush through. Yeah, no time. And then he's going to get taken down as well. So he didn't get the plant. That's it. Molly actually probably could have ducked around the side, but Pimp knew what was coming. He was hoping they were going to both rush him at the same time and maybe get the kills. He'd just be happy he died round. before the round ended. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it was on one second, I think, as well. Yeah. 13-10, TSM. Can they make it 16-10? Because they have been 
Fantastic on the T side, uh, CT side. We knew they would be. We knew they'd be strong on CT. We knew Dignitas had to try and pick up those rounds, but you can see it there on the board. Seven rounds back to back for TSM now. Dignitas unable to really make a dent outside of the pistol. They don't seem to have an answer. They finally did try to go for that, that fake cell. They're going to push but through the smoke. They're going to push through the smoke fire. straight vents. This is going to be pretty easy read by TSM. Device has actually got himself completely around the back of that smoke, so he's going to oh come my. through the vents behind them, and he's going to catch them completely off guard. Device once again. This time they're ready for him. So MSO gets the kill. Maybe that was just a full-on bait, but Cajun Beat manages to land the shots. They've got three on site. And, well, Dignitas are just running headlong into the bullets. Yep, I'm just still confused. Like, they, they get a, a nice early kill. Why not back up, take your man advantage that you have, and work towards the other side, or maybe force them to use a lot more utility into the round. But, you know, right there, they could have, they killed device. They could have just, like, all right, let's chill. Let's head back towards middle. Let's get some more control of the game. We still had, you know, a minute left on the round, practically. All the time in the world to They're work with. It. Well, right. they kind of have to. And let's see if they can do anything about this. They do have, what, two smokes, six flashes, and that's just about it. And... TSM isn't going to be hurting for money anytime soon, too. But they, they spread across the map. They're looking for a pick. But what they do with that pick, if they can get it, is a completely different story. Now, I'm not sure TSM's going to be missing any of these shots, either. They have, they have a pretty good read on this. <clears throat> well, Carrigan is holding the mid, so they know that mid is completely clear at the moment. So he's got the angle covered off there. Well, importantly, they know Dinitas won't really Ooh. have money for an op either. Going for a rotate here, look at this. Cajun B's made his way up towards A site, so they're going to three-stack A, and that is a good guess, because Pimps, once again, knocking on Squeaky. Nico and MSL are looking. Kier is the only man that's over on B site for them. But he's got no utility to sell a fake, so TSM, they know him. this is going to be coming. A yeah, device caught a glimpse of Pimp there at door, and actually, it's, it is a fake. MSL's gone back to get the bomb. I think they're going to make a rotate. I think they're, they're going to go through mid, yeah. I think they might try to get control events. Kerrigan rotating back. KGB might be heading back towards this area as well. And yeah, this is going to be a B hit. But with three seconds on the clock, they have to go fast. And here we go. They've been able to go over towards middle. They've been able to get out. They actually got back towards Vents. They're leaving Pimp to do a little bit of a lurk roll. And Kerrigan Dupree, well, Kerrigan does open up on a Caribou. Looking for maybe onto that second. Dupree does rattle off a couple of shots. Does tag him up quite heavily, but can't pick up the kill. And he's still looking for something. And he has backup of Cajun to help out. And now it's going to be a complete shutdown yet again. Pimp, yeah, he finally gets a kill, but with no time left on the clock. Mm -hmm. And no way he's going to get that bomb. He's got to save this gun. And TSM are looking to keep their streak alive of being undefeated against Dinitas. 15-10. Match point, TSM. Dignitas unable to do anything effectively, and they forced up as well on that one. They might be able to get a chunk because they've lost just, well, frankly, nine rounds back to back now. So they can afford to buy back up, but not really a great amount there. Good little pistol work from Dupree to finish things off. And here is Pimp. What can they do with this one? Obviously kept hold of his gun, didn't die in that last match, uh, last round. Carrigan does have himself the AWP once again. He's actually pushed to sandbags. So if Nigo boosts across, maybe going to be in a slightly unorthodox position. He's been holding mid most of the time. He is going to get boosted into this one. Carrigan covering the angle. He's going to be walking straight into the sights. Did he just catch a glimpse of the rifle? I don't think it quite no, poked out there. It. Yeah. Hmm. But he's in a perfect spot to counter this too. And he's left middle like wide open. The smoke will be dissipating in just a few seconds. Is we forced oh, to get out of position? He gets tagged up. The timing. Mush that well. That it was the smoke because the smoke disappeared. Yeah. He had to rotate off his of sandbags, and I think Nico knew that. Popped out, got a shot. MSL to clean it up, and they had the man advantage. They're starting to all rotate towards B as they get the kill to Dupree, but KGB Device not going to be waiting to receive this. KGB can't get anything, Whoa. and Dinitas are fighting back. Device, what can he do? Well, he gets one, but can he get more? It's a two on four, and the bomb will be planted. Zipnik's making his way around. Pimp actually holding mid. So this time they do have a mid man expecting him to go towards those vents. And well, you can see Zipnik's cautious approach. He's well aware. He's in that position. Zipnik comes out on top. They're not going to get the bomb here, I don't think. They're just going to cover off and try and cut down the weapons. Zipnik slowing things down. Oh, they found the vice. I think he must have peaked from CT. Yeah, he's going to get taken down. Zipnik's the last man. It's going to be 15-11. Dignitas not done and dusted yet. But they're not really holding on to the rifles either. 
Yeah, they, they really needed to save something, and well, AZ will be able to shut down Zipnix at the end, but money is definitely an issue for them, and they can throw everything they have into these rounds because, well, what do you have to lose? And fortunately for them, they don't really have that many guns to work with. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to be going for maybe a couple Galil, or maybe a Galil, just so they can maintain all their nades, flashes, and smokes, but Nico just going to be given the op. The rest of the team will still have uh, all their AKs and M4s to use. But see something again, they're not hurting for money. They have Dupree and Cajun B and Kerrigan with ops. So three ops. I think TSM really want to shut this game out. There we go. Nika opened up on a Cajun in the middle. Does allow Dintos to potentially take this back another round. And this is a good start, like you said. This could be potentially another round. Taking it to 15-12. Money-wise... Mm, it could be tight for TSM. They're going to hold on to these rifles. We'll see whether Dignitas are able to chase them down. Still yet to get on sight. Dupree levels things up. And when they're not in sight, it starts to become a little worry. Their double orbs are rattling off. Carrigan over on main. Uh, on A main, sorry. Dupree over on B. The bomb's coming to B. AZ is going to be the man with MSL. Device gets the information, but despite going down to MSL, now Dupree knows they're coming. He's got one pushing from T-Spawn, one coming in from Checkers. Does manage to get the first. The second, oh, he was flashed up. He didn't really quite get time to get the no-scope off. We've seen quite a few of those landing today. And Carrigan will back off and save the orb. As I mentioned, money will start being tight here. So 15-12 will be the score. I don't think they're going to quite be able to chase Carrigan down. We'll see where he goes with this one. Yeah, it's definitely going to hold on back. So, I mean, th this is one of those moments where you just think, okay, is it possible? Can they do it? Can they go all the way? You can see Kierby's dragging them there. He's got 30 kills now, 22 for Pimp as well. Meanwhile, good spread for TSM. Cajun B doing a great job, but yeah, as I mentioned already, money is definitely very tight. So this is going to go to possibly 15-13, although we've seen some pistol rounds won already today in yeah, this they, match. Well, they still have Kerrigan with the op too, so if he hits a couple of good shots in the middle, they can, or they can completely shut them down. Nico, does he have an op yet again? I'm trying to actually see. He hasn't picked up anything uh, for now, but we'll find out in just a few seconds. And they do have, what, P250, a couple of nades. Oh, triple nades. Are they looking to stack? Uh, device, Cajun B. Looking to stack middle to need. Oh, are they needing boost? Nico's not going to be there just yet. And unfortunately, that doesn't uh, really work out. Doesn't really even... Actually, doesn't connect at all. Not a single point of damage done from that. MSL's in that smoke, and he's already gone through the vents. He's actually popping... He's above Zipnix right now. They're not realizing it. He's taking shots at uh, Cajun B. Still hanging in the smoke. He's going to push on through. Does find himself one. That's going to be Zipnix collecting the gun. What can he do with that? Because save A side <laughs> has been cleared. Yeah, he's going to say he's got to save it. So 15-13 will be the score unless Dupree manages to magically get himself something with this USP pushing up from truck. I very much doubt he can uh, rescue anything. He's in the exact spot they're covering off. He will go down. So Zipnix and Carrigan got himself in towards T-Spawn. Let's see if anybody backs off that way. Nico, I would suggest we'll head that way because he's the man that's nearest. Carrigan with the orb, ready for this, ready for them to come around the corner. Yeah, I don't think they're too too worried about chasing down the guns. As you can see, they're just trying to maintain their own for this next round because they know TSM are going to buy anyways if they were on a save. So why uh, why throw away guns that you're going to need, especially when you potentially want to buy up an op for one of your teammates. So there we go, 15-13 TSM buying up yet again here. And Denitas have everything to work with. They have the op now back on Nico. Can he get middle control? Can he dominate Kerrigan for another time? Or will they use him to peek off somewhere else? Well, after going nine rounds running as the CT side, you've got to feel that TSM should be able to close this one out. But don't rule Dignitas out just yet. They seem to have found the niche in the armor of TSM. Question is, can they open it up? Device, is he going to push through the smoke? He may well do. He's going to creep on in there. He's going to creep through the smoke. There's three from around the corner. This could be perfect. Finds himself one. Doesn't get a second. Dupree managed to get the information down, though. He's managed to get one down and be pushing around. They know everybody is on A side. 
Oh, Zitmix trying to hold from Quad. He does get one kill. He gets the bomb down. He gets the second. He can't get the third. Now AZ going to be in a one-on-two -on -two situation. He's got Cajun B over towards Truck. He's got Dupree coming in from main. That smoke is going to help him out for a little bit of time. The nades, though, doing really good damage. He gets the kill on a Cajun. Now looking for the last man. He knows where he is now. The flame's going to come in, but Dupree's pushed past it. He's pushed out so quietly that AZ doesn't know. And there it is. There's the kill coming from Dupree. And TSM take the victory 16 